Now to a special WNWO special report. It's an illness that affects hundreds of thousands of people, yet few people have actually heard about it. Yeah, it's called POTS, or P-O-T-S, and many who suffer from it spend years going from doctor to doctor without being properly diagnosed. Chief Meteorologist Norm Van Ness set out to learn more, and Norm joins us live. And as it turns out, Norm, uh, one of the bigger clinics that specializes in POTS is right here in Northwest Ohio, right? Yeah, and not only that, Jim and Angie, one of its leading researchers, actually heads up that clinic. I met with, uh, up with him at the University of Toledo Medical Center to learn more about POTS and how it impacts those who have it. Now, POTS is an acronym for Postural Orthostatic Tachycardia Syndrome. It's a mouthful, really big words, but they have an even bigger impact. I have these like blackouts where I get everything goes black and then things turn back. It's with like little specks. The disorder affects each person differently, but the common thread for all of them is a life disrupted. It's just so frustrating. And, and then there's times where you just can't get out of bed. It's just so painful because you're so tired. POTS can manifest itself in many different ways, but its hallmarks are a rapid drop in blood pressure followed by a rapid increase in heart rate. Chronic debilitating fatigue is a common result. It is not unusual for us to see children who come in wheelchairs um, because they are so incapacitated, they are bedridden, and their lives are really stolen from them. UTMC's Dr. Blair Grubb is a nationally recognized specialist in POTS, one of only a few in the United States. A lack of specialists in centers dealing with the disorder means a lot of patients and only a handful of doctors. About 70 percent of the patients we see here in the autonomic clinic are from out of state. Common symptoms of the disorder include unrelenting fatigue lasting for more than six months, a rapid heart rate when standing that is relieved when the person lies down frequent headaches and difficulty thinking, and those afflicted tire easily when doing even normal activities. The lack of outward symptoms can be frustrating. Horrible. They're like, oh, you look fine. You know, I get that all the time. And it's like, well, thanks, I'm glad I look fine. <laughs> it's just, I wish I felt fine. You know? In most POTS victims, the blood vessels in the legs are either too loose or fail to respond properly when the brain tells them to tense up. And that can starve critical organs from getting the blood they need. Because at some point there will be so much blood pooling in the lower half of the body that not enough is not enough is going to the brain to maintain oxygen delivery to the brain, and those people will lose consciousness. And Dr. Grubb is hopeful that with awareness will come more interest and money dedicated for research. Where therapies will be targeted towards the subtype of POTS that the person has. And, uh, and our greater understanding of the mechanisms will allow us to find other therapeutic modalities that may be helpful in trying to restore these people to as normal a life as they can have. Now, POTS can actually affect just about anyone of any age, but the majority of them are women, and many of them develop it in their teens, but really aren't diagnosed until they're well into adulthood. Hopefully, with more awareness and more research, the medical community can take some bigger steps toward helping those who suffer from this disorder. Jim, Angie. Fascinating, Norm. Thank you.